The very Reverend Father Dennis Joseph Slattery was born in Femoy, County Cork, Ireland, on the 29th of February 1916. At 16 years of age in 1932, young Dennis began his missionary vocation and was ordained a priest of the Society of African Missions on the 17th of December 1939. By 1941, at the peak of the Second World War, the 25-year-old Irish priest embarked on a voyage to Africa, Nigeria to be precise. On arrival on the shores of Nigeria, he was posted to Ilawe Kiti, but was recalled to Lagos the following year and posted to St. Gregory's College as a teacher and games master. In 1943, he was again posted to the Catholic Printing Press, where he rose to be the editor of the Catholic Herald. As a journalist, he played a vital role in the 1945 general strike, as well as the Enugu coal miner strike to the chagrin of the British colonial government, so much so that they unsuccessfully tried on three occasions to deport him. He was also a keen sportsman and played regularly for the Lagos United Football Club. At one time, he was chairman of the Nigerian Football Association and he actually founded the Referees Association. Father Slattery's love and favor for Nigeria most likely served as the impetus for his vision to found a secondary school with a dual curriculum of both grammar and technical education that would meet the needs of a soon-to-be independent Nigeria. The proposal for such an institution was presented to the Catholic Voluntary Agency in 1955. The result of that noble vision culminated in the founding of St. Finbar's College on the 2nd of January 1956. The new institution, which was named after the patron saint of Father Slattery's beloved native County Cork in Ireland, was thus born with him as the founding principal. The college started out with 68 students in borough classrooms within the St. Paul's Catholic Primary School compound in Apapa Road, Ibutemeta, Lagos. Thereafter, the search for a permanent location finally led to the marshlands of Akoka, Yaba. So it was that barely three years after classes began on the premises of St. Paul's Primary School, Ibutemeta, St. Fimbus College moved to its permanent site in 1959. One year after, the fledgling institution sought and received the approval of the Federal Ministry of Education to enroll students for the West African School Certificate Examinations. Like all great institutions, the college has its fair share of epoch events in academics, and sports, as well as stellar alumnus in diverse areas ranging from academia, sports, business, the professions, and the military, as well as media and entertainment. Truth be told, conquerors, as Finbarians are referred to, are to be found in practically every field of human endeavor around Nigeria and globally. Father Slattery was a colossus. During our time, he was a field marshal, a general five-star who you cannot evade and who you cannot but see anytime you are in this premises. Um, during our time, we were 90, we got we told, and then we sat for the school sat in 69, and we had the best result in the whole of uh, Lagos State with Tatuan grade ones. Father Slattery was inspiring. It was an embodiment of discipline. And there were four rules that guide the school during those days. Number one was if you steal, you are out. If you cheat during exams, you are out. If you are caught loitering around the premises or outside the gate during school hours, you are out. And if you are caught smoking, or taking drugs, you are out. So it was a highly disciplined college. And like I said, Father Slattery was the field marshal. Uh, I'm a quantum surveyor in practice, and I've been in practice for over 40 years. Um, whatever success story I can lay claim to is due to the fact that I have a solid foundation from this citadel of learning. St. Finbar's College. And so it is heartwarming to come back to the, to the ground 
and relieve those old days. My name is Kayode Bolanwa Anibaba of St. Fimba's 1970-74 set. I laid the foundation, the foundation for my profession and what I am today was laid in that school. Of all the schools I attended, especially Father Dennis Joseph Slattery, uh, whom I found to be a very prolific trainer of men. There was never a week Father Slattery would not speak to each and every one of us through the moral instructions classes. Mondays for, for Forms 1, Tuesdays for Forms 2, and on and on like that till Friday. And it has impacted me positively. I took my school site in 74. Three results out of the whole lot were withheld. One of the young boys was, was one of the three of us. And um, somehow they released two and they didn't release mine. First, he took me in his car to Waiek and asked them to set exam for me to take within that week. They now said no, that they were remarking. And at the end of the day, the thing came out. I want to thank God for making our paths crossed. And I want to continue praying that his soul will find repose with his creator. My name is David Ige. I, um, I graduated from St. Fimbus College about 40 years ago in 1982. I remember this being my last class in, uh, from 5A. And every time I come back here, it's always a pleasure remembering the big impact St. Fimbus College has had on my life. Today I work as, a, as an engineer. I own my oil and gas company. But a lot of what I am today I uh, started from here. Uh, St. Fimbus College really was instrumental, not only in the academic upbringing, but in particular, the moral upbringing. In particular, I remember Reverend Father Slattery, who was our father and our mentor. Father Slattery instilled all the moral uprightness in us, uh, brought us, got all the values that we needed to have as young boys. A lot of what all of us are today stems from those training, and uh, we remember him with a lot of uh, satisfaction for the impact it has made, uh, but also uh, the, the impact St. Fimbus College made on us academically. The combination of those two uh, has made a lot of difference in our lives and in my life personally, and it's a pleasure to commemorate this day on behalf of Father Slattery. Hi, my name is Dr. Janae Logan. I'm a neurosurgeon here in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, in the United States. I'm of the graduating class of 1996, and my first experience and exposure to real life, I believe, which has guided me through my arduous and yet rewarding path, started at St. Fimbos College right there in Akoka. Um, I am a member of the uh, SF COBA uh, group, and I'm a proud member at that. Uh, we are here today at our 11th anniversary uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee, and um, I uh, just want to make the comment that uh, Father Slattery and his legacy has impacted uh, uh, significantly uh, to my life and to my current state and where I am today. I'm truly grateful for that experience. Hi, my name is Walter Egwizi engineer here in the United States, um, class of 2008, St. Fimbers College, Agoka Lagos. Um, St. Fimbers uh, was a very good college for me, like in terms of modeling my um, um, Nigerian culture, belief. Of course, um, in terms of sport, I was more in the athletics team, where I uh, impacted um, the team in terms of success throughout my college year. And of course, most importantly, I won't go without mentioning um, late uh, father DJ Slattery, who, who was really, really impactful, his model, keeping his legacy and leaving his legacy across down to this year. So pretty much I won't be where I am without leaving that dream down across to my day now, now in the United States. So St. Fimbus College was really, really the first foundation for me growing up. Now you've been privileged to see the achievers, the products and the caliber of the old boys of this great institution, St. Fimbus College. All this is attributable to this founder, Reverend Father Dennis Joseph Slattery. Now in my capacity as the chairman of the Board of Trustees of St. Fimbas College Old Boys Association, I wish to heartily welcome you most warmly to this epoch-making event of the annual Reverend Father Dennis Joseph Slattery 
memorial lecture and fundraising dinner for the St. Finbas College. Please give generously. In giving, manifold should be the return flow to you. I thank you all for coming.